Welcome to Patty for Modo. Patty is a collection of new channel modifiers that will help you to make your models more procedural and robust to change. You can get hold of Patty by following the link in the description below. This quick tutorial will cover most of the features of the kit, but please refer to the documentation for a full description of every modifier. Installing the kit is easy. First, find your kits folder. In Modo, select Open Content Folder from the System menu. This will open a file browser and you should see a kits folder. Open that folder and copy your SHPATI kit folder into it. Restart Modo and open the schematic view. You should find some new entries in the Channel Modifiers group under the subfolder Steve H. There will be two new groups in there, Pattern, which contains the bulk of the new content, and String, which has some bonus extra helpers. Now we have Patty installed, what can we do with it? In this model, I have used a pattern to select the middle row of a plane for a polygon bevel. I only needed to specify one row because Modo automatically repeats the pattern to cover the whole plane. This works fine until we decide to add more segments to the plane. Now we will need to manually change the pattern to get the effect that we want. Patty lets you automate this. We can create the pattern procedurally as a sequence consisting of segments over two off, then a single one, and then another segments over two offs. This will give us the same pattern as before, but when we increase the segments count, the right thing happens. Rather than let Modo handle the pattern repetition, we can do it using the Pattern Repeat modifier. This gives us full control over the pattern, and for example, we can use the Pattern Transpose modifier to swap the rows for columns in our pattern. An alternative approach is to create a pattern starting with a single one and then pad it to the row length using Pattern Extend. We can now feed this into Pattern Rotate and adjust the steps to get the position that we want. I can also adjust the width of the selection by adjusting the count in the Pattern On modifier. Now let's have some fun. If I take the original pattern and the transposed pattern and feed them into Pattern Union, I can combine the patterns together. Alternatively, using Pattern Intersect masks the two patterns. And if I use Pattern Invert on one of the inputs to the intersect, I can subtract one pattern from the other. Of course, this is all live, so we can move the patterns and adjust the width of the selection to taste. Patty makes it possible to create complex patterns which would be virtually impossible to manage if they had to be entered manually. Because it is procedural, it can be made to dynamically adjust according to your model's parameters. I hope this video has given you a feel for how powerful procedural pattern generation can be. If you decide to buy Patty, then many thanks from me. I will invest the funds wisely.